Hello, fellow watchers of the Edgecast here. Uh, today I have something amazing in store for you guys. Um, based off previous information from the other Atlantic Fleet video, which got an astounding almost 9,000 like 9,000 my bad views. That's just incredible. We we cannot express how grateful we are for that, guys. That completely blew away all our expectations. We are so happy for that. Thank you so much if you watched that video. If you didn't, it might be worth a nice stop over there after watching this video. Um, well, without further ado, uh, here's more of an honest review, in my opinion, of Atlantic Fleet. This is Gunsman2446 Money here, or otherwise known as 4X. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Um, starting out with the title screen, uh, the user-friendliness, out of a rate of 10 being 10 the highest, or most user-friendly, I'd give this probably a 6, 6 or 5. Um, I only say that because just... If you, here's an example. Let me show you guys here. So for the game options, um, there's not real notches on the volume or anything here. You can kind of place it wherever you want. In my opinion, I don't like that at all. I'd like to have preset features. I'm like Maybe just like from here, 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 instead of going all the way over, like going all the way up and down this thing. I, I thought that was just kind of weird. Um, as, as far as like the longer start range and wind effects player shelves, that's okay. But um, otherwise, I'd give that a, I'd give this whole options menu here maybe a four out of ten. Um, I mean, it's okay, but it's not good at all, in my opinion. I, I feel like they could have just done more than that. Just the green and gray. I thought that was kind of a little turn off there. But um, let's see here. Um, otherwise, on this title screen here, we have the training missions. Uh, we have the single battle, we have the campaign, and the battle of the Atlantic. So, let's just start off one by one here. There's training missions. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give this a 7 or 8. I say that only because there's... I, I feel like there could have been more training missions they could have added. I feel like that would have been somewhat easy to implement, but that, I guess I'm, I didn't really make the game, so I really can't say much there. Otherwise, like, being a player who just, being a person who just bought this for, I believe it was $5 off the App Store, I would want a lot more, um, I would expect a lot more on the training, but that's just me. Um, I like how it gives you, like, little introductions or little paragraphs to explain what all these are on the right as you click on them, so that's why I give it a more higher, higher rate there. Um, single battle. Um, I really do like this a lot. Um, I'd give this a 9 out of 10, just because, I don't know, I just I just like the feel of it. There's a map behind it, and it adds a, a certain feel to it that's pretty cool. And on the right, you can see um, just little, little uh, let's say, uh, descriptions of all of these actions and battles here. For instance, uh, Sinking of the Glorious, you know, it, it has like... A good one sentence there. It shows all of the historical outcomes on the bottom right of your screen here. It's pretty amazing. Um, and most of this, I think, if not all of it, is all historically accurate. A um, little fun fact for now, guys. Um, in 1942, uh, Germany began producing u new U-boats at an incredible rate. Can you guys guess what this was? If you, do, if you do know the answer to this, go ahead and put that in the comments below. Um, I'll give you a few seconds to decide. All right, the answer is 20 new U-boats made their way into the Atlantic each and every month that year of 1942. That's pretty incredible, guys. That's almost as incredible as when America pumped out all those, uh, the uh, liners that carried all, like, the supplies and stuff. That, that's, that's just amazing. That astound I'm astounded by that. Um, without further ado, let's keep on going. Um, campaign. So I like how there's two sides to this, but I would have liked to see maybe more of an American side to it. I know we weren't really involved in the Atlantic, but I don't know. It would just would have been nice to see maybe a third option there, but I do like how I can, you can start a new campaign or continue. That That's always nice. Um, Battle of the Atlantic at the end. This was a little confusing at first for me, so I'd give this maybe a 4 out of 10. Um, I mean, it just... I don't know what to say. Like, new campaign and continue. This whole map here... This was a major turnoff for me. I really thought, like, come on, guys. 
this is just kind of, I don't know how to say it. It's very confusing because you can click on these different things and you don't really know what it is because you don't get much information from it. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. It's very detailed. As you guys can see, it shows all the capitals. Uh, Bergen of Norway or Sweden. Um, yeah, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, let's go back to the main menu here. Um, let's get in some gameplay here. Um, let's just get in a random single. Now, heck, guys, for you, I'm going to do a single battle. And we're going to just do custom for this because this is just an awesome occasion to do this. Um, let's see, what should we pick here? Let's, let's pick the biggest one, you know, naturally. Um, let's pick the biggest one. The Hutton H-39 class battleship. That's really cool. Did you guys ever hear about this? If you guys have, you can put it in comments some facts that you know about it, maybe to enlighten all the other viewers if you if you'd wish to. Otherwise, um let's just see these bad boys fight each other out. Um oh wow, guys, look at this water. I'm not sure if it's changed since when I last did a review on it, but that that looks spectacular. Holy cow. Look at that. That that that's amazing. Um so let's let's try to find this guy in our periscope here. Um, so we got our or our range finder, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh man, okay, here we are, our binoculars sort of things. Scan the horizon here. Can you guys find him? Um, where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Okay, I was being kind of sarcastic there for a second. If you guys didn't notice, um, it's kind of cool. If you guys see that there um so with this whole like range finder thing i'd give it maybe a 7 out of 10 i do like how it shows like the angle on the top center of the screen of what you're looking at and this bottom one right here this angle this range finder must be or something uh i i feel like they could have enlarged that a little bit but otherwise i think that's pretty cool and i like how this uh cross here in the middle that that's pretty sharp looking so thumbs up for, to them for doing that um so let's move on to like seeing the turrets move here guys so as far as the turrets go i'm i'm very impressed with the amount of detail that went into these um i just can't imagine how long that took um so i'd probably give them a nine out of ten uh let's see these turrets move up and down now it's getting really detailed I would have liked to see each individual gun on each turret move, be able to like give you the option of moving. So for like for say or just for example, um, see this first turret here, the close to the furthest to the right of your screen. If one of those guns out of the three could move up and down individually, that would be really cool. Because I know on the actual battleships and cruisers, they, that was an actual thing you could do. Um, with this whole red line here, I think this was pretty cool. I, I do like that. Um, I'd probably give that a 9 out of 10. Um, let's see here. We've got this, on the bottom right of your screen, we have this, um, I want to say, yeah, this is probably more of a range finder than that binocular thing, but, um, I like how you can line it up on the ship. That's pretty cool. like how it gives you, like, the elevation that you need to hit at, but it is pretty, it is pretty rough. It's a pretty rough estimate of where your shell should go. So, like, for instance, I'll shoot a 16-inch AP shell at this German battleship here. See, and then none of them hit the target. Now, with this, I would have liked to see maybe, like, a multiplier, like, or a certain formula that would at least allow one shell to go in if you hit it at, if you did exactly what it said at the beginning. For instance, if it said 28 let's say, yeah, 28 high, um, then, and if you aimed up 28 degrees high, then it would automatically, one of, it, you would have a guarantee of at least one of your shells hitting the ship. Otherwise, I think it's kind of, uh, that was pretty frustrating when I found out that that didn't really work that well. But I do see how this could be, uh, interpreted, like, how you could slowly find your way into the range finders like they did in actual battle, but... Um, let's move on to the far left here of the screen. You see the flank, full, two-thirds, one-third, stop, and back for the engine commands. I think that was pretty cool. Um, I would have liked to see maybe that being enlarged a little bit. Maybe, like, 
a screen where it could swipe to the other side of the screen. Like, in some games, if you guys haven't ever played much mobile games, you can, like, swipe to the side and a whole new menu will pop up. But you can also swipe to the back the other way and you'll be back to the original page. I would have liked to see that and that flank, full, two-third, one-third, you know, engine command thing would have been enlarged. And this, too, um, where you, like, turn your ship. Because that's just too small. Like, some people... I can see it perfectly fine, but I know some people who would have trouble seeing that. And if I was playing, paying $5 for an app, I would have definitely wanted to see some improvement there or actually be able to see this because some of those details in there, you cannot see them that well. Otherwise, it's very very well done, very well done. I applaud them for this. Um, water quality, 10 out of 10. Sky quality, oh my goodness. Beautiful. Um, the sun... I do like the glare that comes out of that little red circle. Um, that has, that does add a little bit of effect there. And I do like how it kind of hides behind the ship there, if you put it right there. But that, I just don't, I don't that full circle though, that red, it just, it's something to do with it. Really, uh, it, I don't know. Some people may like it, some people don't. I don't necessarily like it. I just like the beam shining out, as you guys can see, like those little, uh, rays of light coming out but overall excellent excellent quality the horizon looks very realistic the clouds oh my goodness that that's about as good as i think i've ever seen a mobile game get like that's just incredible as far as the underwater features go i would have liked to see like heck like the entire zoomable option here i would have liked to see you get an even like allowing the player to get even closer in or even go inside the ship to certain to a certain extent. Maybe just like tap on the bridge here and then be able to get in the bridge, or maybe even steer the ship from there, or get in a turret and being able to load the gun. I mean, just small things like that. I mean, like those would be really hard to come up with, like to come up with in the game graphically or fundamentally. But if you could do that, I mean, Killerfish Games that would really up the ante on this game, and I'm sure it would become a lot more popular than it is already. <laughs> it is very popular, but um, the quality of the ship, that's beautiful, beautiful looking. Um, this water coming off the bow, or the front of the ship, I should say. Um, very cool. I would have liked to see, I, I, I wouldn't like the water to stay around the ship so long. I This is getting very nitpicky, by the way, if you guys haven't already noticed, but that way the water rotates around the ship, I just don't think that's the best it could be. I mean, I would have liked to see it dissipate, like, right around the second turret on the front of the ship. I don't know. That's very picky of me, but, um, yeah, without, I see that radar station up in top here, in the center of your guys' screen right here. Very cool looking. I would have liked to see it more sharp. Um, it, it just looks kind of awkwardly, it, graphically it looks very awkward, I would say. And the men on this ship, I mean, even though they're very, very small, I would have liked to see them less, like, blocky, if you guys can get what I'm trying to go at. Like, blocky, I mean, like, just squarish. Because if you guys kind of look in here, let me try to find a good one for you. Um, you can kind of see them in the center of your screen. They're just blocks. I mean, they're just tan and different colors. But, I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong, guys. This is an excellent game. Um... By far, one of the best graphically advanced... This is probably one of the most graphically advanced games I've ever seen yet on mobile. Um, underwater, I would have liked to see, see like, the bottom of the ship. Maybe, like, add barnacles or some sort of, like, um, rusting feature or something. Something to make it feel a little bit more used, I, I would say. They definitely could have added more detail on the bottom of the ship. With the propellers, I mean... I don't know about that. I would have liked to see a more, like, um, sharp-looking but and see the rudder move and stuff like that. I don't know. Just small things. Very small things. Otherwise, without... I don't want to keep you guys too long here, but uh, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, if you guys have any uh, interesting ideas or just comments in general or things you, you want to say... Um, just put them in comments below, and I'd be more—I'm more than happy to read through all of them. I, I'm just very pleased on 
all the participation that we're getting. Even if we're getting eight views, that's still something, guys. We're very, very happy. And um, I apologize for not getting any videos up lately. But uh, yeah, so I want all of you, um, the person who's watching this video right now, I want you to have an excellent day. And yeah, just have an excellent day, guys, I guess. Day or night, whenever you're watching this. Um, yeah, and just uh, post like your uh, your ideas in the comments below, and I will make sure to incorporate them in future videos. All right, guys, signing off. Gunsman2446Money4X. See you later. Bye.